Hi, I'm Paul, and I'm celiac dependent. That means my peace is dependent upon keeping my celiac family happy. What a wacky concept. Being happy while being denied all things wheat, malt, rye, and barley. Now remember back when you were a kid, and you got the idea to make pancakes for your parents to have as breakfast in bed on their anniversary, or for your mom to have on Mother's Day? Or, you know, how about hosting that cupcake party at your birthday with a batter that you made from scratch? Of course, you got to have all the fixings there with the uh, the decorations and the icing. Or, hey, for you girls out there, do you remember the sleepovers with the snacks, pizza, and the makeovers? Now, imagine having celiac disease or some other non-celiac gluten sensitivity like a wheat allergy. Those of you with teenage daughters know this pot know this pose quite well. In fact, it's probably pretty common around there. My life is so over. Well, for celiacs, it kind of feels that way when suddenly things change. You know, remember when you go over to your friends, you have to pack your own snacks for the sleepovers when you head over to other friends' houses? Many of the gluten-free snacks are so much more expensive, so your parents rarely buy them. And your friends just don't understand why you can eat a sandwich packed at home, but you can't go to most fast food restaurants. And you have to bring your own cupcake to your friend's birthday party. And on those sleepovers, you can't eat the same pizza as everybody else. And you have to bring your own. Sometimes they don't look very appetizing either. And other than your parents, maybe one or two adults at school... There's nobody else really to share your ideas and experience in life as a celiac. You feel isolated, alone, disconnected. Nobody really out there to interact with that understands what it means to be celiac. Well, the Celiac Disease Foundation once ran a site called Young and Gluten Free that claimed to give you that outlet by, by providing cheap and easy recipes and share lifestyle tips and communicate with other teens and young adults who happen to have celiac. They invited teens and young adults to join CDF's interns in sharing and learning how to eat gluten-free, but inexpensively. At least that was the idea at first. But after a few years, the site changed to one that just featured products that CDF sold to support the organization's primary purposes of education and research. Now, those important things, educating people about celiac and researching better ways to detect celiac and better ways to treat it, those are, those are important things. Don't get me wrong. But as important as they are, they're not very fun. I mean, celiac is already a drag, so why make it more of one by doing nothing but focusing on the negatives and the tests? You know, and... The move by Young and Gluten Free just uh, led the interns to just be less interested in updating the site and made it less fun. And now the site is stagnant and lifeless and boring. And now the kids and young adults are without that outlet to interact and share ideas and find fun behind having so yeah. Now, you can find gluten-free recipes all over the net. They're, they are great resources if you want just an, outline, just an online cookbook. But what you do not find is a community for teens and young adults to share their ideas and experiences and where they can interact. And it's a really wacky idea, isn't it? Given celiac and gluten-sensitive teens and young adults an interactive website to collaborate, express themselves, and learn, more, learn from both adult contributors and each other, in ways that are appealing and contemporary to the teens and young adults. Well, that's what Wacky Gluten-Free World does. It hosts regular blog posts and videos where teens and young adults can learn, teach, discuss, and share what it means to live gluten-free and to have fun doing so in a safe and moderated environment. So consider this website for teens and young adults. It's fun. Just ask Beastie. That's Ava, one of our teen contributors. Let's resurrect Young and Gluten-Free as Wacky Gluten-Free World. And open that world for teens and young adults, and the young adult celiacs, so they can truly interact with each other and share. Thank you for your consideration. Y'all have a great day. Keep it gluten free.